No strong cut. <laughs> yes. How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? The cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the Hoi Polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! <laughs> Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this. Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelman. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents. Clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. Snake eyes. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Ah. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> You really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'll get my... But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rare... Good luck to you. Likewise. Uh. What? See ya. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. 
by clothes, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and... Achoo! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. I'll give you a discount. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time, that's what matters. 